the next 30 minutes could happen to anybody. To you or your neighbor. Maybe it has. Hello and welcome back to the Ask Johnny channel. Did aliens have anything to do with ancient Egypt? G'day Johnny, get off your fat lazy ass. We've got another letter here. Just read the bloody letter. Righto, Johnny, we'll get straight onto it. This is from Bangalore Betty, and Bangalore Betty's in, strangely enough, Bangalore. Hello to everybody in Bangalore up there. Keep watching us for Christ's sake, but Johnny, Bangalore Betty says, Johnny, your documentaries have been a godsend to us here of late. Thanks, Bangalore Betty. Yeah, but do you think extraterrestrials have anything to do with, well, anything Johnny signed, Bangalore Betty? Thanks, Bangalore Betty. Johnny, do I have... Uh, did they have any bloody thing? Did the aliens have anything to do with the uh, ancient Egyptian, Johnny? Is that what you're asking? Well, I may and they may not have, but there's one bloody pharaoh that I reckon uh, is very suspect indeed. Yeah, Akhenaten. Akhenaten? Yeah, Akhenaten. Uh, he's got this bloody uh, statue of him, and uh, it's not the regular type of statue you would expect uh, from a, a power-hungry bloody uh, Egyptian pharaoh. Have a look at it. I might be onto something there, Johnny. Jesus Christ, have a look at him. Except for Cleopatra, no ruler of ancient Egypt has provoked a greater flow of ink from the pens of historians, archaeologists, moralists, novelists and Nephilim researchers than the pharaoh Akhenaten, who governed almost half the civilized world for a brief span during the 14th century BC. Now, I don't know about you, Johnny, but if I was an Egyptian pharaoh, all powerful and everything, and I was getting a bloody uh, statue commissioned, especially one that was going to last for fucking years, well, I wouldn't get one of me that looked like that. Yeah, well, I'd want a decent bloody statue of myself too, Johnny, if I, I'd be more uh, looking at getting one like this. Or this. Oh, they got some great gods, Johnny. And look at those two in the middle. You couldn't get better gods than that. So unless you really did want to look like a half-human alien, yeah, then you'd get another bloody statue done, wouldn't you, Johnny? Combining voodoo witchery with the most advanced of medical sciences. There's all sorts of mysteries surrounding this prick. He, uh, he came along and he was related to bloody... Well, they're all related to one another. They're all into breeding, Johnny, so it wouldn't surprise me if he just looked like that because he was fucking inbred. But, 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 but Johnny... The unnatural physical appearance of some Egyptian pharaohs, including Tutankhamun, has led researchers to suggest they may have had connections with extraterrestrials. Gods to the worship of a single mysterious sun disk he called the Aten, which was said to communicate with the pharaoh, who had a very unique way of portraying himself that, if we're just being honest here, looks eerily similar to something else. Throw in a mysterious disk in the sky that apparently communicates with people, and, well, you see where this is going. Now, Johnny, I'm not saying all our thousands of viewers out there should uh, rush off and uh, tell all their family and friends that they reckon this particular pharaoh is a bloody half-bred alien. I wouldn't go doing that just yet. So, Johnny, quit sitting on the bloody fence. Do you reckon there was fucking aliens involved in this bloody pharaoh or not? Come on, uh, make a bloody decision, you weak prick. But it just seems bloody remarkable, Johnny, uh, that this one pharaoh, this one standout pharaoh, he has a bloody statue of himself made like this. I mean, who does that, Johnny? Who, who, who does that? Not man, not beast, but a combination of the best of each. The idea of gods coming from the sky is, is not unique. All the ancient cultures have that. But what's interesting is that as you dig into them, what you see is that all of these different legends of these gods that come from the sky, they seem to come in not like descending as angels, but actually coming on physical craft. Things that are described as flaming shields or different types of rockets. Now, I'm not saying Akhenaten was 100% an alien, 
but I'm not necessarily saying he wasn't either, or at the very least, influenced by an extraterrestrial force. Because here's the thing, we have a pharaoh that ruled over 3,000 years ago, yet his portrayal and description of a sun disk in the sky almost perfectly matches just about every description of a modern day UFO encounter. His appearance and overall depiction very much matches descriptions of little gray aliens. His son somehow possesses an artifact that not only literally came from the stars, but, according to the experts, shouldn't exist. And his entire rule and overall existence was completely covered up and removed from the history books. With but Johnny, you heading this way with the Ask Johnny channel. You're gonna alienate, and no pun intended there, you're gonna alienate our millions of bloody viewers. And of course, it's been said that the statue looks pretty bloody feminine, Johnny. And perhaps this might be the only time it's been mentioned. It might be a, a, an original theory put forth by the Ask Johnny channel that perhaps this bloody pharaoh was a woman. Well, now you mention it, that, that, that does look a bit like a woman. Are you bloody serious, Johnny? <coughs> but Johnny, everyone will think you're a fucking idiot. I can assure you. They're a woman and they just pretended it was a bloke and they're all bloody into breeding anyway and who would bloody know and they're... Oh Johnny, you've gone too far. You've gone too far, man. They're the world's press and social media. They're gonna crucify you if you keep going on with that bloody... Th but she might just be a bloody lesbian dressing up like a bloody male pharaoh. And I want to make it perfectly clear, Johnny, that the Ask Johnny channel, we were the first ones to come up with such a theory and if anyone else comes up with that theory, well, we're gonna bloody sue ya. Yeah, you and your know-all bloody opinions. I will bloody sue you. <coughs> well, you've done it again, Johnny. Another bloody award-winning, possibly award-winning documentary. Thank you very much for your participation. Yeah, woman. 